This is Christian Buckley doing another MVP buzz chat. And I'm talking today with Martin. Hello. 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 So Martin, I, I see you're outside wandering about. So for folks that don't know you, who are you? Where are you? And what do you do? Uh, first of all, hi, everyone. Basically, my name is Martin. Let's like that. Uh, currently living and working in Netherlands, uh, basically exactly near in Amsterdam. Uh, I'm working basically here for a big finance institution, let's say it like that. Uh, so most of the time, let's say working as uh, with Azure and basically also my MVP is related to Azure. So most of the time working with Azure, Azure DevOps. Uh, and in the last three or four years, I can say that also I can include my new topic. Basically for me, especially it's going deep a little bit in the the security ops, let's say it like that, or the new modern career path, the SecOps, which I a little bit focused more uh, in the last two, three years. And I'm really curious how the security can improve also. Yeah. Uh, how to say, code pipelines, you know, because everyone now started to use the pipelines, the DevOps journeys, DevOps way of working, and so on. So now a little bit focused to secure all of these pipelines, code injections, and everything that is yeah. happening. Well, very cool. And so, is that, what is your pro, your um, primary like output? Are you a blogger? Are you a speaker? Or do you write books? I mean, what kind of what what's your your output focus? Output focus most of the time is a football. I must say that uh, basically, I'm a big. Uh, <laughs> it was not uh, anything that you mentioned about uh, MVP site. I first let's mention that maybe it's a good idea. The, uh, from MVP side, my biggest passion was to be, you know, to share the knowledge, to write a blog post, to give explanation. I have a really good or huge technical background because most of the time I want to execute the things, not just write and basically give explanation. I want to be, have or to see how it is in the real thing. Uh, and basically my primary, I would say it's a blogger. And second, very often that is happening in the last two, three years also as a speaker who are joining from time to time, depends how much time I have. Uh, because if you fl- need to go somewhere and to talk in person and also COVID that is happening now, it's, let's say, behind us. So most of the time you need to organize also. You're uh, at home, at work, you need to step out early to travel there, to start everything. So... Yeah, that's my primary focus, let's say, on this blogger and speaking currently. Uh, in the next couple of months, maybe it will come more. But besides that, I would mention that I'm a big fan of uh, football. Let's say it's like that, a big Lazio fan uh, from Italy, people who will know, basically. Uh, so, yeah, most of the time, maybe from time to time reading some book, but most of the time watching football, I would say, out, let's say, beside the MVP, Azure, and everything else. I, I remember traveling over, I, I believe, I'm trying to remember if it was in, I think it was in Berlin, Tech Ed, where there was uh, you know, the, basically the, the, uh, the midweek party, the big event for attendees was yeah. sitting in a stadium and they had giant at the, the, like they had at the one end, they had the football, like the goal and everything set up yeah. so you could go and like that, but they just had this massive giant screen and they put out yeah. benches everywhere and tables and just people would were drinking beer and eating, you know, uh, sausage and, and pretzels and, and watching the match. It was yeah. uh, as a non football fan, uh, I I'm an, uh, you know, I'm a U.S. I'm an NBA. I'm a basketball fan. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, but, but being in the crowd, I mean, it's, it's pretty infectious. You can't, I, I I had no skin in the game for either team that was playing, but um, just watching the crowd and hearing the the roar uh, of yeah. the opposing, I think they had pretty even of the two sides that were there. It was pretty exciting. Yes, uh, basically very often. Uh, I think it is very often when people say, uh, should we go in, maybe, I don't know, in Germany, should we go in Switzerland, should we go here and there? And I'm saying, okay, let me think about it. In Switzerland, I think we should go near Zurich. There is a football club. And uh, if we need to go in Germany, 
let's go in Dortmund. There is also a football club, there is a stadium. And after that, she never uh, started to ask me, should we go there? She said, just say, we're going in this country because there is no stadium about football. We don't need to go to watch football match. We don't need to find the tickets and so on and so on. Yeah, it's really nice experience, basically, also in the crowd and everything. It's a little bit, uh, you're joining to the crowd and feeling the vibe, let's say, of yeah. football and everything. Especially in the Germany, maybe uh, two or three years ago, I remember now that uh, the football association in Germany put at the matches in Monday. The audience, the fans, protest in front of, I think, uh, somewhere in the Germany because they don't have time for their private life because the whole week they need to go on stadium to watch football, yeah. which is really, you know, imagine the whole nation to go just every day, every week per day, you know, just to go to watch football. Yeah. Really funny. Yep. Well, it's, uh, I mean, there is a difference that, you know, having been to, you know, in America, been to NBA games, been to baseball games, yep. been to American football games, I've yeah. never been to a, uh, I've even seen, you know, ho uh, hockey. I know from my Canadian yeah. friends out there that every time I say ice hockey, there's like, there is no yeah. other kind of hockey. There is yeah. <laughs> Canadian friends. There there are other types of hockey. No, but um, it, it, it's something to say. You don't have to be a hardcore fan of the sport to go and to participate yes. and enjoy that. Like I was in India and went to, uh, uh, you know, a, a couple different sporting events that were just in again it's about the crowd watching yeah 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 cricket i think they have yeah so it was, it was a watch. cricket match that was massive and yeah. it was uh you know it was uh very warm it was stifling yeah. hot in there where you could just see the steam rising out of the crowd but yeah it but it was a fantastic experience yeah 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 i agree on that and basically every sport you know have their own vibe let's say like that and a lot of fans which is a good I think also that you in the United States have this MLS uh, league, I think it's called, the football that they have, MLS, I think oh, is yeah, the yeah. name of the league. Yeah, yeah so you have uh, now Inter Miami, basically, I think uh, that uh, it, uh, it will be, how it's called, uh, Messi is coming there, so you yeah. can go. I don't know if you noticed, but no. it's already one ticket. It's more expensive than one NBA match. I don't know if you have noticed that. Yeah, I heard I, that on the internet. I don't somewhere. pay attention to that at all. I even know that it, it, while I was it, the last few years of Seattle, um, so the Seattle yeah. Sounders, so the the yeah. the soccer league there. You know, I think yeah. they won the U.S. championship and they did very well. And I don't know. I didn't pay yeah. attention to any of that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. I'm more of the focus on the technology stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's so what? What's the community activity like going around? Uh, it, so now in the Netherlands around Azure, how how is it? Are you very active in the community groups? Uh, in the active in the community group, there is a lot of. First of all, we must uh, clean the things. Uh, basically, there is a lot of active uh, meetups and uh, things that is happening. Basically, I think Netherlands have a lot of MVPs also and a lot of meetups and groups, user groups, let's say, that want to share knowledge, basically. And uh, I'm participating on some of them, not all of them. Currently, basically, a little bit focused more on work, to be honest, but very soon. Now, this month is some type of a uh, vacation, let's say, like that next month. Mm -hmm. So, vacation period. So, in parallel, I'm preparing something also from, let's say, to share something official on, let's say, for the community, let's say, like that, to uh, some type of uh, maybe newsletter or some new good, let's say, technical, more focused blog post. Uh, I think this month already I have one, uh, one presentation as a speaking, but it's a virtual for basically uh my let's say bird country macedonia so where i will take a presentation about azure arc uh which is one of the topics that i'm very often mm -hmm. you know skipping the azure and everything and working on this side basically one of my favorite currently uh that i'm working in parallel from home very often and spending my free time a little bit on the technology so this month i'm doing one let's say uh talking and then basic vacation and then starting again to join on some of the communities around the netherlands because as I mentioned, there is a lot of ongoing things about Azure security and uh, also the DevOps topics and pipelines and this or that, which is a really big topic currently, as I think a lot in Netherlands currently from what I see also from the job market. If we make, let's say, some analysis, 
there is a lot of people that uh, the companies are looking for mostly security and DevOps, let's say, uh, within the company to work about it. Very cool. Well, there's a, 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 you know, a, a lot going on. I know that these things are starting to ramp back up. Like, uh, I don't know if you participated in previous years, the annual, like the um, the Azure Day, like the single day event where they try to do kind of around the world. I know I ran yeah. that for two years here in Utah um, yeah. and looking to kind of get that back underway. Uh, I think that's in general. I think it's just, we just passed that. Was that like end of April? Like when they yep, did that? Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, yeah. End of April, basically. I was invited to go in person uh, to Macedonia to give us a talk about the Jure Day, but I missed it just because of some private reasons. Uh, but I'm planning now, there is also a topic about the Jure Back to School also, which I'm planning uh, maybe with a blog post or with some small talk, let's say about one topic, which I think it will be really nice and a good topic in the next couple of months. So yeah, maybe the next step would be, oh, I forgot completely on that. I put it in my notes, Azure back to school and maybe, yeah, speaking on some conference, basically. It's always really welcome, you know, just to share knowledge with the community and the people around you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that, you know, whether I'm presenting or just attending, I mean, doing the community activities, there's nothing that replaces that online. Like you, yeah. you, you yeah. can't beat the in-person the interactions with people and especially uh, look like i was in las vegas a month ago and uh, for a conference and seeing people that i realized like oh hey just like caught up on our conversations and then we realized we'd actually never met in person before it's always been online it's always been digital but here you know here we were but we it's funny how it was we kind of forgot that fact and it kind of came up like Oh yeah. Hey, by the way, we've actually never met. <laughs> exactly. That is, I think uh, also it happens, let's say in this side of Europe, also uh, back in my country, also here, I noticed in Netherlands, uh, for example, the people are going to war and they will say, Oh, I was working with this guy three years. And now officially we met in person after yeah. three years and yeah. they met uh, each other on some meetup or some conference after that, they figure out that they're working in the same company. And after that, they met in person, let's say it like that, which is really funny. And uh, a lot of cases like this, uh, like this happened, I think, also here in Netherlands, which is really funny, you know, how it's going from what happened in the last two, three years, let's say, with this COVID. But I would say, again, it's finally done. So yeah. let's cross fingers and just say never you know, like this to happen again. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. Well, Martin, really appreciate your time today. For for folks that want to reach out and connect with you, what are the best ways to reach you? Where are you most active in the social sphere? I was a lot of active in the previous time on Twitter. I started really early in 2007, eight, and I was really active and I think still keeping a really good number of followers, something like 7,000. Uh, and a lot of people replying or this or that, but uh, currently most of the time, I must say that I'm focused completely on LinkedIn. Yep. I don't know, maybe it's just because, you know, these technical things, a lot of people are sharing with the community about the topics that, let's say me, you, or some other, that are the people that are listening to this podcast basically are <clears throat> interested in. And basically, I must mention maybe also LinkedIn uh, have a really big, let's say reach currently on most of the uh, blog posts because also we need to think about and be aware that a lot of people are switching careers that is what i noticed yeah because also i'm in parallel as a microsoft trainer uh that a lot of community work was done on linkedin and a lot of people learn basically how they can switch their career path because uh, during the COVID, because everything was virtual and the only topic that was working was, let's say, the IT uh, part of the people or the IT people, I would say. So I think currently to answer your question, this was just uh, to put a strawberry on the cake, uh, that uh, currently they can find me on the LinkedIn anytime. They can ping me and they will get answer minimum for eight hours. After my work time, I'm available again. Excellent. Well, and of course, I'll, I'll include your social links on the blog post and out on you. YouTube as well. And But uh, hey, Martin, I really appreciate your time. It's great uh, meeting you and hopefully in the near future, I'll, we'll cross paths. I hope also if you come to Netherlands also or if I go next year on the MVP Summit, uh, why not? 
thank you for such a nice, let's say, call. It's again, uh, thank you and story for this, but I just finished from work. I'm uh, connected from home, but it's still, I think, uh, okay, the voice and everything. So yeah, from technical perspective, I heard that it's all good. So I don't need to worry about it. I will have one question to you. Yeah. How would you pronounce my nickname? For example, my website is lacialex.io. I'm just thinking cloud. Yeah, I have because no idea. I found it. Yeah, so basically, uh, just to not confuse the people on my, let's say, native language, Lazio, let's mean a fan of Lazio, just because I found it also this morning, find it confusing for the people. So just to give a clue that Lazio is not a ghost or something, it's a fan of Lazio on some language, let's say it like that. Yeah, I would, honestly, I wouldn't know how to pronounce that. So, but I'll, I'll have that link as well for folks that know what we're talking about. So both his, uh, both your, uh, um, your carbon made site as well as your dot mk yeah 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 uh, no the io i think oh, it switched uh, i switched that so, okay yeah io at the end so i switch uh yeah that's the current website where the people can find me and also on linkedin most of the time all right i've got it all right perfect well thanks a lot perfect. for connecting we'll talk to you soon yeah thank you Peter, one more time have a nice rest of the i suppose night now almost in united states here it's almost end of working time, so yeah, talk to you soon. Wow. Wow.